right, I am back with another Starfield video. Uh, I wasn't actually going to do a video today, I was going to skip, but a couple people requested that I do a build video. And this is now uh, proving my points about <laughs> how if you go to a desolate moon, you get a lot of ships landing uh, in all random places. I wrote an article today about how to steal ships, and that appears to be uh, turning out... <laughs> to be accurate here as I start this video. Uh, I'll just try to explain a little bit what I'm talking about here. I posted uh, something earlier about how I said I've essentially, I feel like I've kind of beaten the game. And by that, I don't just mean the main story quest. I mean, uh, I'm just not quite sure where to go from here because I am just too strong, <laughs> essentially. I am level 93. This is about after 130, 140 hours of play, which, believe me, I am not saying that that is not enough time to, you know, max out a game as much as I want to, but I am starting to kind of not only run short on things, like I have to like Google what quests I haven't done yet because you're not just like randomly finding them anymore. And also I I'm just, I'm too strong. I'm playing on very hard. Very little is, is still a challenge for me, and I'm just not 100% sure what I should be doing. What is this? Is this uh, a UC ship? It is. Okay. So, now the tricky part. UC ships are tough, because I don't want to murder people and get a bounty, because that's not who my character is. But I still want to steal them. So... This becomes a little difficult. So you see ships are locked, and I don't think you can see me. Let's find out. <laughs> uh, okay, this is honestly like the best mini game I've seen for lock picking ever. They did like a really fantastic job with this. Um, nope, that's not right. There and there. Ta-da. Okay, if there's guys on here, I'm screwed because <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone. If there's not guys on here, it may not let me steal it. So, that is empty. It is very hard to navigate ships sometimes, I swear. All right, this looks pretty empty to me. It's just going to be a question of whether or not the ship is accessible, which sometimes it is not for some reason. I am mixing up my jump controls with a different game right now. <laughs> okay, screw it. I'm going to climb the ladder. Oh, man. This is about to be fun if I steal a good ship, or it's about to be very lame if I do not get to steal this. Do I go up again? I think I go up again. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Well, see you later. <laughs> I don't know what type of ship this is actually. This looks pretty big. We'll see if it's a B or a C. That's <laughs> why is it why are the engines so weird? Why is it missing an engine? <laughs> That's so strange. Okay. So now I'm in space with my new you see Autobahn, Class C, 30 jump radius, 1,900 shields, 4,500 cargo bay. You see how easy that was? <laughs> Just a lot of times they can say these are inaccessible, but I got lucky that time. So, uh, yeah, back to what I'm talking about. I will uh, start with my ships because my ships are also just absolutely crushing everything right now except for the one star destroyer of a rune ship i ran into that i talked about before there are a couple legendary ship fights in the game that are genuinely hard but normal ships this is not that difficult so these are my best ships that i have stolen or bought star eagles the one everyone starts with and by starts with i mean the one you get after uh frontier Sorry, um, Starborn spoilers, but you know if you're if I'm talking about level 93 here, <laughs> um, they're not aliens. I'll say that if you know <laughs> what where we're going. Star Eagle, that's the one you should get right away. This is my this is so far my best gunship. I put um, 
The laser ballistic missile combo is very good. I put two top end lasers on it. I only have ship combat three, so or ship design three. So I've kind of maxed out with the most expensive lasers there. It's kind of hard to get to three and four because you just have to use all these quote unquote independent modules to, to put on things. So it's a little tough. So I did top laser ballistics. I haven't leveled missiles up all the way, so that's not as important. Uh, but this was the ship I defeated the Star Destroyer in. It's just a frontal assault blitz with lasers first, then ballistics and missiles. Crushes through things. Uh, not my prettiest ship, maybe, but it's uh, my workhorse. And if I really need to kill something in combat, that's proving somewhat difficult. That's what I used to use before kind of everything crushed everything. Razor Leaf, you probably know what quest that's from. This is my main ship, just because it looks so awesome. <laughs> it's also good in combat. This was my favorite because it, it came with three triple auto cannons. So if you just get near anything, it will absolutely crush it, <laughs> uh, which is very, very nice. And it also has a, a big cargo capacity. It's 3240, whereas my little gunship over here is like half that. So that's um, better just for kind of like day-to-day -day use. I also love these cockpits, um, the wide cockpits with the stairs. Uh, those are very fun. This is the first UC ship I stole. Uh, really awesome. Dawnbreaker. Its weapons are not quite up to par with the others. It does have an EM cannon, which I don't care about. I don't like EM weapons. Uh, and it's still it's still a good ship. I just don't think it's as good as the others. This one, uh, this is a class A that I stole. I'm probably gonna get rid of it. It's not that good. I don't really, A ships are more, navi like more navigatable, but it's, I don't know. I just stole it because I could. <laughs> and now we have the Autobahn, which you just saw me steal here. I have no clue how this is. It starts with laser ballistic missile, pretty good. Uh, good damage on these, 50 shield damage, 140 hull damage, and missiles at 330. This is a high high quality ship. Um, kind of ugly, but okay. So those are my ships. Uh, auto cannons just absolutely shred. I max out auto cannons, and you almost have trouble not killing ships because they just roast literally everything near you, which is what my um, the, uh, the Dark Star does. So... These are all ships I renamed too. There's not actual ones you can, you can get. I renamed them from the ecliptic whatever whatever the um what's it called the crimson fleet whatever whatever. All right. So combat perks. How I've made my character very strong, and I'm not even maxed. I could be even stronger because I have not maxed many things. So we'll start all the way over here. Finally maxed out oxygen. This took for freaking ever because you have to get all the way down the CO2 meter to get it. This is such a good upgrade. It's it's totally worth it because sprinting uses about a quarter of what it used to. It's it's fantastic. Weightlifting, this is almost necessary because of how crappy uh, the carry system is. So 100 kilograms is great. Obviously, if you're an assault class like me, 40% max health is necessary. I only have 10% reduced uh, pain tolerance from uh, ballistic weapons. I don't have any from energy weapon dis dissipation, which I can feel sometimes, but... Uh, this just hasn't felt super necessary, so I haven't specced much into it. I have martial arts because I do have um, melee maxed over there, even though I'm not a melee class. I mostly use it to farm ammo. So crit chance and the chance to disarm an attacker. 10% less damage would be good, but that's not the, my main thing I use, so I don't really care much about it. Rejuvenation. This is sort of a must-have perk for any class because it is otherwise very annoying <laughs> to, to try and do this um, without that. Like it, to heal without that, it's like a med pack, or you have to sleep. It's it's deeply annoying. Scavenging, I just got this. I should have gotten sca scavenge ammo a lot earlier because ammo is one of the only restrictive things in this game for me, honestly. Manipulation, this is something you get from a quest, which I don't really use. Max ballistics, ballistic range and damage increased by thirty percent each. Max dueling, uh, melee weapons do fifty percent more damage, take less damage, make you run faster, heal you for ten percent health. Uh, so when I'm like short on ammo and I just want to change a pace, I just run around stabbing things. I'll show you what blade I use. Lasers, I've only done 10% so far. I, I was just going ballistics for the longest time, but now I like maxed all the ballistics I care about essentially. So I'm just doing that. Pistols, pistols are really good in this game. 50% more damage, 25% uh, crit hit chance for five seconds after a pistol kill. I did shotguns up to 30% um, more damage. I don't think this... Grant a small chance to stun additional targets is a, is worth a whole skill point, so I didn't do that. Uh, reload ballistic weapons 30% faster. I feel like that's all I needed to do at the time. I guess I could do energy and EM weapons now that I'm using those a bit more. 
Max out armor penetration. Uh, I don't really fully understand armor in this game. All I know is this makes me do a lot more damage. Uh, and then I've started going a little bit down crippling. Just they, you can down human enemies faster, which once you get to rank three, I think that's the most important one. Previous ranks apply to all enemy types. How many robots are there in the game? Not that many. And the wild animals you fight are just comically easy because you can kite them forever. Sharpshooting, getting into crit damage here. Uh, Increasing crit damage for different limb hits and head hits, and then increase uh, crit damage for everything. Again, I could have done this sooner, but I didn't feel like I needed it because I was so strong. Slowly leveling up medicine makes health packs heal more. And this is kind of the path where if I just get bored of doing everything else, I can start building custom weapons and spacesuits and things like that. Uh, ships, I have maxed so many things here. Ballistic damage. Um, energy weapon systems, so lasers, engine systems. Uh, absolutely necessary your ship boost lasts longer and then here you can instantly disengage target lock uh, automated weapon systems shield systems starship design this is how you get uh, to the rank three of the lasers and things and uh, all of your weapons starship engineering i started to go down here a little bit like this helps your systems not take a ton of damage but i don't think getting to this entire uh, tree is really worth it Targeting, absolutely worth masking, uh, maxing. Time to lock onto enemy ships reduced by 60% and increased system damage at targeting mode. Critically hit, you know, target lock ships fire slower. This is the best ship upgrade in the game. Uh, piloting, this is so you can get those class C ships that I just stole. Otherwise, you won't be able to drive them at all. And yeah, I talked about, I'm starting to upgrade missiles a little bit, not a ton yet. Uh, automated weapon systems. Your turrets recharge crazy fast and do more damage to subsystems. Uh, reduce all targeting mode costs by 40%. The auto cannons are very good, unless you're trying to board enemy ships, in which case they will kill them before you can do that. And then I've done max security just because it's very annoying to not be able to get into master level stuff. And honestly, really the only kind of good things in this game are behind master and expert. I would not even bother with novice or advanced slacks. You get almost nothing from those. Uh, so that's the... The skill tree I've gone down and like I could get even stronger. I could max damage resistance. I could max crit chance. I could max lasers and particle beam weapons and all that stuff. It just doesn't feel necessary. And like I'm on very hard, so there's nowhere else to go. Uh, in terms of my gear, that is another category of things here. Weapons. The weapons part may surprise you a little bit. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I'm using a white weapon, a couple of white weapons. Uh, this is because some weapon types are just so like hilariously overtuned that it doesn't matter what rarity they are at all. Like it's nice to have you know bonuses and things like that, but the way some of these are tuned, it's <laughs> I don't really even fully understand it. All I know is the Varun weapons, the particle beam weapons. When I have no no upgrades of particle beams are hilariously overpowered. There's this. It's not really. It's like a rifle. It's not an SMG. All of these are kind of one-shot weapons, and then there is the Star Shard Pistol. All of these are incredible. <laughs> I don't know why they're so strong, but they are absolutely extremely strong. And so I've, it, like, you can get, you know, I, every time the damage goes up, you know, I'll, I'll grab one of those. But uh, I have not even found, I don't think, a, <laughs> a uh, high damage one that's green or purple or, uh, you know, legendary. Like, I... I'm sure they exist, I have never found one. So I've been using these, they are insanely strong, even with no upgrades. Uh, also, the, where is it? I have found, where's my blade? The freaking organization here is so annoying. <laughs> okay, also the pain blade. This is the best melee weapon in the game. Way more damage than anything. Yes, it's a little slower, but it is incredibly strong, and uh, that is the one melee weapon I use, because I don't think anything else is even close to it. Other things, I'm just going to go through the ones with the hearts, because those are the ones I actively use. Again, this was a totally uh, white weapon, but it's a hard-hitting pistol, has a silencer, it feels fun to shoot, I enjoy it. I just got this one recently. I actually hate the way tombstones feel, so I don't use this very much, but it's corrosive and it has double magazine size, which is still not enough for these. But um that's it's some I, I keep swapping weapons in and out i kind of think of what my least used one is and i swap it out to try something else and then with a with a few staples that i'll leave in there forever 
this one, again, this is a green green shotgun. But because it is uh, a hard-hitting coachman and it has extended magazines, so it has four shots in it, it essentially turns into the fourth horseman. It's insane damage, just rapid-fire shotgun burst, pretty fast reload. Uh, this one comes with five mods. Mods are important because that really helps damage and fire rate and, and things like that. So uh, it's not just the rarity, it's also how many um, attachments things have. Uh, really good weapon. Beowulf, this thing is pretty sick. It's a longer range weapon, but it hits very hard. Uh, it's semi-auto and eh, it's silenced, right? I don't go stealth, I just like the way silenced weapons feel. Very hard hitting, despite being green. This thing, I don't understand. I don't understand why this thing is so good. Uh, this is probably one of the the best weapons I have for some reason. I don't even think this is max damage, but I didn't use any energy weapons for like I don't know, seventy hours or something. So I didn't spend any ammo. So now I have thirty six hundred rounds for this thing, and I only started use, using it recently. But it lights everything on fire, even though that's that's not in here. I like there's nothing here that says it should do that. Uh, but it lights everything on fire. It does more damage while aiming, so just baseline, like you're not hip firing this, and then your damage goes up as your health decreases. This does insane damage. This is what I use to hunt wildlife to farm XP because I have so many rounds for it and it hits so hard. Really good. Uh, this is competing for my best shotgun, highest damage in the game, magazine of seven, uh, and uh, this one is actually purple. This does. Each consecutive hit deals more damage and it poisons enemies. Uh, really good. Um, shotguns combined with the power I'll talk about in a minute it means like no enemy can stand up to you, essentially. Uh, Kodamas, I've gone through a few of the Kodamas. They're okay. They just, the problem with Kodamas is they burn ammo really fast because they're SMGs with crazy fire rates and these share, you know, ammo with a lot of other things, including pistols. So you, you can burn through ammo pretty quick with these. I also have a legendary one in here i don't know which one's better bashing is such a pointless perk like i don't know why it has that crippling's good titanium is also pretty pointless uh when you have to stop worrying about carrying capacity so this is legendary but two of the perks are useless keep going um kadama i think i'm almost done this is just a really good revolver i've been using for a long time this also lights things on fire not always and that's actually uh, a perk it's also a skip shot every fourth shot Fires two projectiles, so that's double damage. That happens three times a mag, because this is extended mag. So this is a lot of good synergistic perks. Um, the only problem has been ammo in the past, but it's still pretty good. And those are all my weapons. It's it's a huge, wide range, because some of these weapons are dramatically overpowered for some reason. And, uh, oh, this is a good shotgun, too. The problem with this shotgun is, like, the fire rate's really slow, and you have to load it one at a time. But, yeah, some, I'm not going to call for a nerf in a single-player game, that's very stupid, but like these weapons are overpowered for whatever reason. A, a lot of the ones I showed you, the laser rifle and the brewing weapons. Gear, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I, you look, you, I want things like, you know, minus um, physical damage from range weapons. That's good. Uh, and then this is a good perk. 75% chance to reduce damage when standing still. So if you're standing still, like firing a rifle or something, that's good. This one just has huge damage resistance, so I've, I've kept it around, and it has bolstering, so even more resistance. I don't know. They're both good. Packs, I've swapped these around. This is high. This is one of the best ones I've gotten. Less damage from aliens. Skip boost pack. Never use power boost packs. They feel terrible because they just rocket you straight up in the air, which is really bad. Uh, helmets, again, doesn't really matter. So this is another 30% reduction from beasts, but... 5% chance to disarm attackers. I don't know. It's not very good. I think this would probably be better. I just like the way this looks better. <laughs> outfits obviously don't matter. I collect outfits. They're very fun. This is my favorite. I won't tell you how to get it. Uh, I just, yeah, I have like another 50 of these in storage, but I also like the physician uniform. Um, what else? Sorry dress. Very good. Pirate outfit is good. The hitman suit and dress shirt outfit. There's some good ones. You, it, the, the stats in these don't matter. Some of them, yeah, some of them give you more protection and damage reduction or whatever, but, like, who cares? It doesn't matter. Uh, in terms of other things, powers. That's the last part of this. These are all the powers you get from all the temples. And as you may know, if you go to New Game Plus, you start getting upgrades for each of these. I've been amazed at how little I use 
any of these. Like some of these are for, for bear, very specific things, but because you can only use one at a time, you are just really picking the best one. And I had this because of a zero G thing, but besides that, Gravity Wave. Gravity Wave is all you need in the entire game. It's a little bit like Gravity Well. I just think Gravity Well, Anti-Gravity Field, or there's also Gravity Well, right? Yeah, they're, they're, they're all gravity related things, but these make things hover and like whips them around, which makes them harder to hit. This knocks everything on the ground. So you just knock them on the ground and then shoot them in the head a bunch with a shotgun or whack at them with your Varun blade or whatever you want. This works on everything. This works on the biggest bosses in the game and the story things like the giant monsters and things. This works on level 110 pirate legends that I'm, I'm farming now. Like it, it's just crowd control for five seconds, which just allows you to just unload on them and you get two charges of this. And by the time you use the second charge, you're probably almost all the way to a third one. It's again, this is one thing that's just, it's way overpowered. And like some of these, some of these other ones I have, I just haven't used them that much. Like I, I don't think they're going to be as useful as this one is for, at least if you're an outright combat class, if you want to do like, Oh, you're invisible. Like fine. That's good for stealth. But this one is, is all you ever need. Uh, and yeah, that's my build. It, it's not even as strong as I could be, but this game isn't really tuned to allow you to have a challenge <laughs> past, uh, very hard here, like very hard. I am not even like a very hard person. I'm not like pro capital G gamer, bro, as you probably know from watching my stuff, but this, this very hard difficulty, once you get to a certain point is not very hard and that's fine i like feeling powerful like i i think that's a good thing to feel powerful in a game like this i gotta go land at a base don't i <laughs> and i don't even have contraband on the ship who's this hello that's another navy ship hello friends it's me your fellow navy person oh it's captain young from the other quest yeah everyone's saying that like doing quests has no you know results after the fact there's so many of these that come up later it's it's very fun the way they do this where you'll run into someone in an old quest. Uh, but yeah, so that is my build. Yes, I am level 90, so obviously, you know, I'm going to be very strong, but it's interesting because New Game Plus doesn't really offer me anything because I will just be starting over with all those perks unlocked. So as soon as I get any remotely good gear, I'm right back where I started again. I just have to redo everything. And, you know, at a certain point, I'm just getting perks to be like, maybe I can make some better custom weapons because why not? Or some cooler bases or whatever. But, you know, I, I think it's okay to like start winding down my time with the game. Um, I have something else I need to play, which I can't talk about yet. So I am transitioning over to that for a little bit, but I'll still be back. I still like just exploring planets and finding new things. Like after all this time, I am still finding things I have never seen before. Some of them are really cool. So I think there's still a lot to be said here for just exploration, even if I can't find any enemies that can kill me. <laughs> like very hard is like, maybe I use a health pack sometimes as opposed to never using one. That's like the difference. So uh, if you wanted to know my build, there it is. The, the skill, like you don't even need to max everything to have to be this level of strong. You do not have to have full legendary weapons to be this strong. You have to get the highest level of stats you can by farming, you know, the bosses and the end of, uh, end of, uh, what are they called? Like outpost chests, you get the little like orb of, of things in the highest system you can, like a level 75 system. That's where the absolute best damage gear will come from. Uh, but pick up, you know, more things than you would think and check out their damage, compare it to what you're currently using and give it a shot. If it sucks, throw it away. If it doesn't, you'd be surprised. So yeah, uh, if you have any additional questions, hit me up on Twitter and or in the comments and I will try to elaborate. Um, and that's all I can really think of for now for, for my build here. But yeah, it's I, I'm not complaining. I've had a great time with the game. I really enjoy the shooting, uh, the combat, the, the upgrade process has been very fun. I'm just a little surprised at how strong I got. And I did not ever really consider that I'd end up playing this on very hard because I never do that. But that is where we landed. So, but yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon. Take care.